Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Andrew gives Alex a lead on Victor's activities in Greece, while Sean and Talia take their party upstairs. Wearing just a towel around his waist, Alex answers his door to Theresa. He's taken aback to learn she got his address from Stephanie, who is her cousin. Theresa assures him Stephanie has no problem with them going out, which is why she's there, to set up their date. He reminds her he's going to Greece tonight. When there's a knock at the door, Alex assumes it's Brady picking him up. Theresa checks herself in a compact mirror as he answers the door to Andrew. Theresa's surprised to see her brother. As Alex gets dressed, Andrew teases Theresa for picking up a guy at a funeral and playfully wonders what she's up to. When Alex returns, Andrew reminds him that Victor's plane crash is still an active investigation. It would be best if the ISA handled it. Alex vows they'll stay out of the agency's way in Greece, but he appreciate any insight into why Victor was there. Andrew hesitates, but Theresa implores her brother to spill for Maggie's sake. Andrew reveals that Victor met with a man named Constantin Meleonis, who owns a restaurant outside Athens. He didn't help the ISA's investigation, but he could be useful to Alex and Brady. After Andrew's left, Alex thanks Theresa for help with her brother and promises to treat her to dinner when he gets back. Theresa thinks she could be useful in Greece, where there are tons of restaurants. Why does it she tag along? Alex doesn't think Brady would like that, so they'll have dinner when he returns. At John and Marlena's, Brady tells Belle he and Alex are headed to Greece in a couple of hours. Before he leaves, he encourages her to share her obvious troubles. She tells him Sean is drinking again and she doesn't know what to do. Marlena and John bring John's father, Timothy, home to meet Belle and Brady. Brady can't believe he just laid one grandfather to rest and now has a new one. Timothy asks about John's third child, just before Paul shows up. As Paul meets his grandfather, Timothy learns how Yo Ling tried to get John's blood for a life-saving procedure and kidnapped Paul to be part of his Phantom Alliance. As the men talk baseball, Marlena notices Belle pensively staring off. Belle privately confides that Sean's drinking again. Andrew arrives and meets Timothy, who is overwhelmed by the family's kindness and generosity. John tells an emotional Timothy to get used to it because the love will keep coming. Andrew offers to take their first photo as a family. Sean joins Talia at her table in the pub when he learns that she, too, is drowning her sorrows. She tells him about Channel dumping her, and he tells her about his blow-up with Belle over his drinking. He doesn't want Belle to fix him. He wants her to accept that he feels immense guilt over Beau's coma and Victor's death. Talia is sorry he's struggling with it. He thanks her for being the first person not to try and convince him that it's not his fault. After toasting to owning their mistakes, Sean suggests he get them another round. Talia suggests he call his wife and fix things instead. That's the last thing Sean wants to do. He tells Talia about all of Belle's cheating, so she owes him some space to feel what he feels. The two get drunk, taking shots and drinking beer. Belle comes to the pub, but Talia and Sean are gone. Belle calls Sean, who ignores it. He continues drinking with Talia in the room above the pub after they got kicked out. Sean hopes Talia's sister doesn't mind a party at her place because he doesn't want to piss off his partner. Holding Sean's face, Talia says Jada's working an all-nighter, so they have the place to themselves. They make out and fall to the bed. At the Dimira mansion, Channel recounts to Johnny that she broke things off with Talia. She hated hurting her, but she had to tell her the truth. Johnny feels bad for getting in the way of her and Talia. Channel doesn't. If he hadn't been honest with her, she would have kept denying what's in her heart. I never stopped loving you, she confesses. He repeats the sentiment, and they kiss. Johnny asks Channel up to his room, but she tells him to go easy. He's afraid to believe this is real and fears she'll change her mind. She assures him this real, but they aren't taking things further tonight. Pivoting, Johnny suggests they watch the movie. What's up, Doc? After getting assurances it's a romantic screwball comedy, not a slasher film, Chanel's in. They kiss and lean back to watch in each other's arms. In the square, Andrew and Paul kiss and express that they miss each other. Andrew's just glad they could meet up in Salem. He tells Paul that the Theresa was at Alex's place, probably with a hidden agenda. 
After Brady picks up Alex at his apartment, the Reza secretly follows them. As John and Timothy have a beer alone together, Timothy worries he's pulling John away from other things. John assures him there's no place he'd rather be than with him. He calls him dad and the men hug. Next on Days of Our Lives, Alex and Brady make a shocking discovery and Vivian interferes in Gabby and Stefan's plans. Belle's Dre Menetis death makes way for Martha Madison's exit TV season and spoilers reported the news of Martha Madison's impending exit from Days of Our Lives. The fan-favorite actress had recently opened up about her exit from the soap in a chat with the media. Martha, who recently marked her 19th anniversary on the long-running daytime drama, admitted that after her character Belle and EJ were broken up, Dio lost its touch. She, in fact, went on to say that the soap is not what she joined it for back in the day. However, she refrained from dropping any hints about her exit story. The latest spoilers are hinting towards what the makers may have in mind for Belle's exit from the canvas. Considering how dynamically dramatic Belle's life has been in Salem, a quiet exit might be an injustice to her legacy. Thus, whatever the soap gods have in mid for her fate has to be rather bold, laced with some drama. Currently on Dates of Our Lives, Belle is facing major trouble with her husband Sean. He is really spiraling downwards with guilt. Moreover, leaning on alcoholism as his coping mechanism is not doing him any favors. It is quite plausible that Belle's exit will be tied up to Sean in his current downward spiral on Days of Our Lives. Previously, it had started to look like Sean was on the mend when he seeked Marlena's help. He was finally coming to terms with his guilt over putting Daddy Bo in coma. But the unexpected and unfortunate death of Victor pushed him off the rails once again. In one of the recent episodes, Sean verbally ripped into Belle, berating her for her once-upon-a-time adultery with EJ. The confrontation surely looked like the couple are on the brink of falling apart. So the chance of Sean and Belle happily sailing off into sunset seems rather unlikely at this point on Days of Our Lives. Moreover, it is to be noted that only Martha Madison has spoken about exiting the soap. There has been no news about Brandon Beamer's exit. Thus, chances are that Belle is walking towards death's door on the soap. But what would get her to it? At this point, it looks like some rash behavior on Sean's end could do the task. Perhaps, Sean and Belle will get in an accident caused by the latter being under influence. That would certainly be a poignant end to this tale on Days of Our Lives. Most of Sean and Belle's issues right now are being caused by his alcoholism. But what would this mean for Sean? Will it be a wake-up call that makes him finally turn his life around, or will this be the straw that completely breaks the camel's back? Tell us in the comments. Meanwhile, stay tuned to TV Season and Spoilers for more Days of Our Lives updates on Belle's exit. John Black introduces his father to the family. In addition, Andrew Donovan provides Alex with a helpful lead, Sean and Talia drown their sorrows in each other, and Johnny and Channel reacquaint themselves with one another. Now let's dig a little deeper into what happened. At Marlena's office at University Hospital, John regaled Timothy with stories about identity's past. He can laugh about things like thinking he was a Catholic priest now. When Marlena joined the men, Timothy expressed his gratitude that they helped him figure out who he truly was, Marlena a bit more than John since she's practically super doc. Timothy wondered if one of them would mind returning him to the VA hospital, but the couple insisted he was coming home with them. What's more, he had family to meet. By happenstance, Belle and Brady were at the townhouse, her to complain about her recent interaction with Sean, him listening to his sister's woes despite having a flight to Greece to catch. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.